you gotta maximize your star power and your potential. So back to the easy, you know what I'm saying? He's basically saying he would love to get on the phone and talk to URL about what they feel like he lacks integrity. <laughs> Amend the situation with easy? Like, you know what I mean? I just, like, I'm a man of integrity. Yeah. I like integrity. Like, I, once I, I, I see, like, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers don't have integrity. You don't fuck you with know that? You know what I mean? I, like, I stay uh, away. I stay away from people and energies that, you know what I'm saying, don't align with my, you know what I mean? My, 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 my mentality, my principles, my morals. You understand? Um, my beliefs. Um, I just stay away. And everybody is different. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own objective. You know what I'm saying? So right. I can't never knock nobody for like, you know what I mean? Who they are as a person. I just know who I am and my character as a man. So, you know what I mean? I stand on my principles and that's the only thing I could stand on. Watch the gun line. Shout out to all the subscribers out there. It's about lunchtime. And it's your man Vada Fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. And all of the notification gang and everybody watches this channel, whether religiously or in passing, but right. Skip the fuck. Let's get right to the subject. Have y'all seen the interview on the bang uppercut podcast with Tiger? Tiger! The Asian ball and smack. Bro, I'm gonna just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I break down every round that I've sketched about. I did see Easy to Block Captain's reply to the interview. And I'll talk about all of that, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to try to get this out by like lunchtime, you know what I'm saying? Because I remember all the years when I was at work, you know what I'm saying? I always wanted something to people watch at lunchtime, you know what I'm saying? Help get me through the day. Because a lot of us work for people that if we had an opportunity for, we'd never work for, we'd never speak to, or we'd never even associate, you know what I'm saying? So I try to bring some dope shit round lunchtime, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all, you know what I'm saying? Something to, something to chop this fable. Let's chop this fable as they rock to the table, you know what I'm saying? And I make sure that I put it on YouTube. This ain't drop on cable. So, um, everybody knows. So, Uppercut Podcast is the name. I'll pin the um, link in the top of the comments. Bam, Uppercut. I know a lot of y'all seen the fight with Shakur Stevenson this weekend, you know what I'm saying? He fought a vase store owner, and you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he. <laughs> He got some of the slippery defense out there, but the fight was pretty boring. I ain't gonna hold you. I watched it again. I tried to, you know what I'm saying? My son, he don't be wanting to go to sleep sometimes. So if I put the fight on, he was he be gone by the fifth round, you know what I'm saying? So I do use it as a sleeping aid. But uh, let's get to the subject. So Smack goes on the Uppercut Podcast, right? And he has a raw interview. And I see why it's Uppercut, because they hold no punches. They do a lot of drill stuff on there too. They had Charlie Clips, Smack, uh, Smack was on there. Uh, Murder Mook was on there, so they making moves and making waves. Salute to them. Go get them a subscribe and check out some of the videos that they got over there. Shout out to Chris and Bias. He told me that he was gonna that he sent me the video. He let them know people was gonna be talking about it, and the video came out. And I was like, yeah, I watched the shit yesterday, but I wanted to let it bubble before the trial. I said, let it bubble, see what people's reactions are, see if some of the people that he talking about in the video respond. Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. Before I just jump out there. So, you know, I, I let it sit for a day, then I press play. So, uh, Smack is very transparent in the interview. You know what I'm saying? He sounds frustrated at some of the questions, you know what I'm saying, that he's being asked. As far as uh, with the caffeine deal, he broke it down straight up. He said, Caffeine gave us free events, you know what I'm saying? When COVID was going on, niggas had the, you know, the internet battles and all the COVID shit. They My perspective. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, that's just basically what it is. So I don't agree with, I don't agree with like, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers talking about like, you know what I mean? Niggas fucked up the culture. We held it down in the motherfucking middle of a fucking pandemic, nigga, when the world was shut down, my nigga. Right. You understand what I'm saying? When niggas can't even leave the crib, we outside running state to state, getting to it, putting on. It was making work put out. Uh, Tiger let us know where he stood from that question. He doubled back because Smack was like, you know, they had a lot of different platforms on there. It wasn't just ours and the company closed together to make it seem like a collective effort. Tiger jumps like, nah, we heard y'all are the reason why. I said, oh shit. I said, it is up. What? Get my Malcolm X glasses out, you know what I'm saying? I just switched glasses during the interview, you know what I'm saying? But during the blog, fuck it, right? So he then... <laughs> Continue to ask about it, you know what I'm saying? So Smack, he started addressing um, issues with the artist. We gotta go with the, the good and the bad. Why is th there's like a lot of these battle rap artists right now that has like a lot of issues with you right now? I mean, I don't really have no issues with nobody. 
me personally. If anybody got an issue with me, they could come holler at me. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, they're, I they're just, putting it out there, though, bro. I mean, I, so be it. Like, you know what I mean? I got a million other people that support and love doing business with me, though. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, I ain't going to be able to please everybody. And everybody got different temperaments. Everybody got different characteristics. Everybody got different attitudes. So, like, you know what I'm saying? They're you know what I'm saying? And he started talking about, you know, if you don't like it, don't do business with me. Now, I do respect that perspective, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody ain't got to do business with a person if they don't want to do business with them. You can go and do what you want to do. But sometimes it's kind of weird because URL be like, smack or say that, but then in the same breath, it'll block the back. <laughs> <laughs> they'll block the bad. I'm like, oh. <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they'll, they'll cut the nigga legs from under him if they try to work somewhere else, like I said. And this is just my perspective from the interview. Smack has done a lot for the culture. I don't really have no issues with Smack or really nobody on URL except P, you know what I'm saying? He got he tried to get niggas to lie on me, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll never, we'll never see eye to eye, and I really don't give a fuck. I don't really have a great answer for your uh question because I, I really don't give a fuck and i'll talk about that more later so uh he talked about the k shine not being let in the venue uh he didn't really like own up to it it's just a part of business they wasn't fucking with shine at the time shine not coming in the building shine said fuck smack on his shine you know what I'm saying? shine said f smack on his birthday you know what i'm saying so they got a lot of shit between them that just hasn't been ironed out from what i've heard is that shine owes them money they paid him for so a bunch of battles and some not a bunch a battle or two i believe it was jack boy main and some other shit and battle never happened they want their money he won his battle that's where this whole wibbly web shit was trying to go at the end of the day from what i heard you can say take it for what it's worth put my word in the dirt Shine ain't battling until them niggas get their money back. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? You can do whatever the situation or whatever he got going on. More power to him. I hope it's all well. But them niggas want their money. And they ain't coming off that. And I, that's and that then they don't even be they don't read, I don't hear from them niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm glad to be able to do my blogs, do my shit the way I want, because I can say what I want. Nobody's gonna call me. Nobody's gonna tell me, yo, why you said this, why you said that. We'll, we'll get into that compromise shit later, right? So I love the fact that Tiger was uncompromised. He was asking the questions that niggas wanted to, wanted to know. He was being direct. Uh, it was a grown man conversation that had to be had. Uh, he talked about the hitman. See, the hitman and murder mook shit is tough because hitman saying nobody called him, smack is saying nobody called him. There's no starting point because niggas got ego and pride be set aside. Niggas be want to set their price so high and how they gonna ever have a battle if niggas ain't gonna reach out and have a conversation? You know what I'm saying? Like, so that ain't gonna happen. And there's so much shit that happened between them through the years. And then, you know, Hitman fuck with Verb and Verb don't fuck with URL. So it's just so much shit that goes in between a Hitman versus Murder Moot and why it probably wouldn't happen on URL. Right? So then he started talking about Easy, Black Captain, and he mentioned that. And then the situation with Easy? Like, you know what I mean? I just, like, I'm a man of integrity. Yeah. I like integrity. Like, I, once I, I I see, like, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers don't have integrity. You don't fuck you with that? You know what I mean? I, like, I stay uh, away. I stay away from people and energies that, you know what I'm saying, don't align with my, you know what I mean? My, 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 my mentality, my principles, my morals. You understand? Um, my beliefs. Um, I just stay away. And everybody is different. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own objective. You know what I'm saying? So right. I can't never knock nobody for like, you know what I mean? Who they are as a person. I just know who I am and my character as a man. So, you know what I mean? I stand on my principles and that's the only thing I could stand on. So like, if I, like, you know, it's always going to be, you know, discrepancy with. Easy had no integrity or that his integrity doesn't line up with his. Y'all seen the clip. The clip is circling everywhere, right? So. A lot of people are responding, you know what I'm saying? Easy the black captain being one, I'll tell you what he said in one second. And a lot of other folks are like, yo, like, you try to stop the man from getting money. <laughs> what is he supposed to do? And I always said when it came to the Hitman Holler Battle, I felt like he should have did it because at, at the time, Easy's not getting, he, Easy was the hottest battle rapper at the point, was one of the hottest battle rappers. Surf was in jail, URL was going through the shit with Norbs, you know what I'm saying? And, and Smack is saying that Easy didn't have no integrity, but people are looking like, yo, Norbs got y'all niggas in court for the same word. So it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? So Easy was offered a battle with Hitman Holla. He, he didn't tell URL, you know what I'm saying? He had, from what I heard, he did not tell URL until the trailer came out. And rightfully so, because if he told them niggas, they'd give him hell about it. They got him in the 360 deal for five. You said, oh, you sound like it's drama, though. It sound like it's beef, though. It, like, it, it didn't beef, I mean, listen, I'm with all kind of smoke, man. Cigars, cigarettes, you know, the, the regular joints. I mean, where you at? It came out, 
And rightfully so, because if he told them niggas, they'd give him hell about it. They got him in the 360 deal for five years and shit. These long ass contracts that they lock niggas into. They can't battle here. They can't do this. They can't do that. And when they're not battling on your platform, who knows where they're going? You know what I'm saying? But you all got the mentality where if you with us, you with us 2,000%. If you're not, we don't give a fuck about you. And that's the way it should be. You know, business is business, right? So, and then it's mad shit, but besides that, you know, they be suing RBEs and all the shit going back and forth, blocking battles, booty booty boo. So, Smack is standing on his laurels, he's like, yo, this is my business. Nobody was there when, you know what I'm saying, uh, when I was putting battlers on and niggas was running around the hood with the camera and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Because Smack had to earn his, regardless of what anybody say. That's why I said my issue, I don't really got a new issue with Smack and how he runs his business. He gonna do what he do, which will lead to the part of the interview where he's talking about knowledge. And my thing is this, right? I tweeted yesterday because <laughs> the, 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 the comment came up, and I'll talk about the easy shit in one more second, but uh, the... The comment had came up, my man AC though, shout out to AC though, he had tweeted what he said about Knowledge to God, because Knowledge to God got blocked from going into the, 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 the venue and shit, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, he said, what he said, he said about Knowledge, uh, I said Knowledge wasn't following protocol and got banned, he was probably told ain't no interviewing the ops or being at their functions, and Knowledge gonna have his cameras wherever it's popping at, and he should, that's what I said, because when you down with them niggas, they know, it, it's, it's like, yo, they don't even want you going to other niggas events. I know, I used to be there back in the day, so I know. You go to an RBE event, they don't like that shit. They don't want you covering them niggas, they don't want you talking about them niggas. You can't even act like that's how it goes, but that's their business and they can do shit how they choose to. Now, when you're an entity like Hip Hop Is Real, they are gonna go everywhere. They are gonna be at all the events. They're like, you think they are gonna miss a Hitman vs. Cassidy for a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> them niggas was at Max Out 2. They gonna be at Max Out 3. They was at Max Out 1, Max Out 2, Max Out 3. They gonna go to every single event because guess what? They get paid off of the views. You know what I'm saying? People watch the interviews, they get paid off the views. But, you know, Knowledge and Hip Hop is Real, they did a lot of controversial shit. They'll go ask the questions. They'll go interview all the niggas that, if a nigga got issue with URL, they'll go find K-Shine. <laughs> got that thing on me. I got that stick. I got that tool. I'm packing. <laughs> <laughs> they'll go find bridge. They'll, they'll go find these niggas, you know what I'm saying? They pop out the they popping out the bushes, asking niggas questions, and then it's titled the way it's titled. When K-Shine was doing all that F-U-R-L and fuck this nigga on his birthday, they wouldn't let me in the venue. That shit was all uploaded on Hip Hop is Real channel. So when you tell me that Hip Hop is Real got banned from an event, I'm not surprised. Because I know for a fact how them niggas move. It's like if you with us 2,000% or you ain't with us at all. And at that point in time, he really wasn't with him because he's just uploading shit. Trying. But salute to Nala. I ain't got an issue with Nala. I fuck with them niggas when I see him. I say, what's up, Uncle Rod? They got a hard job. I've always said the Uncle Rods, the Knowledge, the guys, they have such a hard job because they got to go out and get interviews. They got to go get it. Without interviews, it's hard. to like, They don't really got no trip. Like, the interviews is everything. So they have to save the relationship or maintain a relationship with the artist or with URL to be able to continue to grow and succeed because if they ain't no hip hop is real, them niggas ain't out there with them cameras. How the fuck do we know what's going on? The bloggers, they got a job where they, you know, watch the battles, break them down and shit like that. But my revenue or our revenue that we make is not generated off of interviews. It's off of the battles and off of the content and shit like that. So uh, at Knowledge, he, walk, he has to walk a fine line because if you're a blogger, you can say whatever you want. You just ain't got to pull up to whatever event it is that, you ain't, that ain't fucking with you. You ain't fucking with them. You ain't got to go, but you can still watch and cover it, basically. But if you need the interviews, you need the access. So I see... Both sides. Smack is not letting niggas in that's gonna be interviewing ops and doing shit like that and going to their functions and then putting Spanish Harlem and all these niggas. He's not fucking with that. Because when Pete was going through all the shit that he was saying, and this is something that Chris said too, and I'll allude to it, that when all this Spanish Harlem shit was going on, that was the platform that it was going on. This nigga had four, five, six part docuseries and shit. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas was not fucking with that shit. I know they wasn't, you know what I'm saying? So uh moving along. Uh, but Smack was very transparent in the interview. He was letting it know, you know, he's gonna be, he was around for the longest, you know what I'm saying? He put in the most groundwork. He helped build one of the biggest platforms and regardless of where it may have went or people feel how they may have felt or the shit with Norbs or whatever the case may be. Because he did talk about the situation with Norbs and he said basically that they grew apart. They ain't really grow apart. Them niggas got a deal and wanted to kick that nigga out the whip. <laughs> That's how that went. <laughs> it ain't no other way. They got the big deal, and they wanted that nigga out of the situation. If Norbs wasn't a part, no, and Norbs wasn't a part of it, he won the one. He won his case. And they took that shit to every single level. 
I don't work for none of these niggas, so I can say what I want. He took that shit to every level, he won. Smack seems bitter about it. Oh, he ain't get no 40 million. He ain't get no 40 million, but he got something. He got something. The money is not coming back. <laughs> um, so let's get to the easy part, man. So easy, the block captain, the algorithm. Uh, he's got a car coming up on the trenches and shit like that. A lot of people were sending him this interview about and what Smack said about him. And you know, easy response said, at Smack White. I would love for us to get on the phone and you explain to me why I don't got integrity and I'll explain the same to y'all. This was out of pocket. Basically saying like, you saying I don't have no integrity for going to get a bag and, and trying to get out of this 360 deal, but I got some shit that I need to say to you. You know what I'm saying? And like I will say, uh, when you look at the landscape of battle rap, how many battle rappers on URL or not on URL are doing better than Easy to Block Captain. Can you name five? You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about people like Hitman and all the way up there. I'm talking about people that are around his level, started when he started or in that hemisphere and you'll say nobody. Who's doing them? them? <laughs> a lot of these cats be having a battle on every single league and all this drama and battle backing out and taking deposits. You know, you don't hear about Easy doing that shit. Easy ain't out here taking one round. <laughs> he ain't out here taking one round. This on this nigga league and that nigga league or battling uh, fucking microwave manis and shit like that. You could tell who's doing all right in battle rap when you can see the moves that they make. You'll never see Goods taking just random names every other weekend and shit like that. Goods got a situation where he look like he got something coming up with Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Time. Shout out Goods. You know what I mean? Shout, Shout out Goods, goods the Animal. I told you got some, some, some news coming for you. I let him tell y'all whatever he got coming for y'all, but the homie is the homie. Yes, sir. And now we back in the hills. And um, at Ferrari truck. And you gotta maximize your star power and your potential. So back to the easy, you know what I'm saying? He's basically saying he would love to get on the phone and talk to URL about what they feel like he lacks integrity. You know what I'm saying? I guess. Now, yes, did URL provide a platform for Easy to Black Captain's success? Yes, but he still had to put in the work. He still had to, to, to grow and make, you know, battle after battle after battle after battle and continue to build himself into a household name, and he did just that. The rubber met the road when he wanted to battle Hitman Holler. Niggas said, they would have said no. They was not going to let that battle happen. That was not going to happen. And you can't tell a nigga that he can't make more money than he ever going to make in his life that he ain't making with you and y'all not booking Hitman Hollow. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. And then they let, it's, it's, it would be funny shit. Certain niggas could battle certain places, other niggas can, and they do all of this extra shit. So, it was a big issue, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, when you look at the interview overall, Smack addressed a lot of shit. Uh, he definitely spoke about the K-Shine situation. Like I said, with the K-Shine, I don't think he's gonna be on there because where their discrepancy is at. That discrepancy has been stonehenged for the last two years. I'll break it down one more time. What I was told, and like I said, niggas don't tell me everything. Kayshawn had a contract that was worth a lot of money. He wasn't battling, but they were paying him by the month. Installments, bam, 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 bam. Let's say 50, 60, 70, 90 grand, 100 grand, 120 grand. Who knows how much this contract was for? He was getting paid month by month, that's what they said. The battles didn't happen, URL wants their battles. But their, their relationship is so fragile that I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. But what I will say is this, uh, shout out to the Uppercut Podcast, they definitely got in their bag. Uh, he's got an aggressive interview style, and he, he going at it. Boom, 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 question, 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 question. Um, and, and I think that that's, that's a dope style because like I said, you don't even get a set. <laughs> He don't even get a second to think before the next question, before the next question, before the next question. Y'all heard about this, y'all heard about that, y'all heard about this, yo, they saying this, yo, they saying that. The one thing I will end it with is the Danny Myers shit. He kind of tried to throw it out there that Danny Myers wanted Lux and he was mad at URL for it. I think that was kind of, I don't know if it was fabricated or if a nigga told him to ask the question, because I ain't gonna lie, in some of these interviews that a lot of us do, We'll talk to other people around us, you know what I'm saying, that, that you feel like have similar minds and they'll throw you questions and shit like that. And I don't know if the Danny Myers question was a little bit off hinge. She was like, Danny Myers is mad because he's not getting loaded lux and whatever the case may be. But let's be honest, when you think about it from a battle rap standpoint and a logistical standpoint, does a loaded lux versus Danny Myers make any sense? 
You know what I'm saying? Loaded Up just comes off a battle with Rum Nitty, an MC that most people feel like is better than Danny. And, you know, Danny is where Danny is at. Danny will battle fucking insert crucible nigga in October if it's on the car. You know what I'm saying? Lux ain't battling niggas who's doing shit. Like, he's not going to do it. I promise you he's not. Lux wouldn't even be interested in it because his whole thing is his market value and his dollar is based off of where the opponent is at that he's facing. He's not going to battle a nigga that's going to battle the week before in Arkansas. He, I promise you he won't. You can ask him. He's told me already. So, uh, I didn't like... I'm not going to say I didn't like. I knew that the part about the Danny Myers shit wasn't going to fly because Danny Myers ain't cutting enough rug to get a loaded Lux. He's nice. I fuck with his bars. I fuck with his battles and shit like that. But he be still battling new niggas. You know what I'm saying? Lux one of the people that is going to help add to what he got going on. But before we get out of here, shout out to everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. People have been hitting me up. Oh, I want to read my man, my man, one of my mans. He hit me up earlier, man. And uh, I said I was going to read his, uh, he DM'd me and was saying something about the whole situation and shit. And I was going, I said, I, he said that, uh, he said the trenches got the streets for now. I blame caffeine for two reasons. For giving battle rappers way too much money. Now all of them is overpricing themselves. And number two, for putting out so many events back to back, they watered down the brand. Back in the day, there was anticipation for the battles. Felt like the battles meant something promo was on point. I remember hearing the trailer and I hope that it would be, you know, everything worth I spent my money on. I feel like nowadays these battles go in one ear and out the other, put too many events too soon. Then we get more choking, which messes up the battles. Short preparation in between battles. I totally agree with that. Um, that definitely has something to do with the battle rap culture, you know what I'm saying, starting to stagnate. And like I said, caffeine came in and paid niggas too much. I'm not hating. Like when we and the funny thing is, a lot of us was talking about this shit when it was happening, and they were saying we was hating. Oh y'all hating on the bag, y'all hating on the bag. And I'm like, yo, you can't tell a battle rapper who caffeine paid 15, 20 grand last month that you got an event two months from now and you want to pay him four or five or three. He gonna want the same money for caffeine. That's why some artists was taking battles on caffeine that made no sense. They just wanted the bag, but now the bag is gone. And the artists are the ones that stuck holding the, the, the bread. Now, you know what I'm saying? As far as smacking easy the block captain go, you know, smack called out easy, easy responded. He's gonna respond, you know what I'm saying? Cause smack don't really do the social media shit. So where if easy responds, he's gonna he's gonna say what he gotta say. And like I said, I always agree with him taking the hitman battle, and I never felt any way about him not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like he should have done that shit because if he would have not took the battle, they would still diss him about it to this day. He would literally be in the same position, broke, <laughs> with a job, you know what I'm saying? And, and trying to make ends meet. Easy don't have a nine to five. When I would, I used to work with P and them niggas, I had a job. <laughs> I had a job when I was around them niggas. <laughs> Not no more, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got bossed up. In order to get the cost up, you got to boss up. Shit happens, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, you all gonna continue doing what they do. They just had a, a dope gnome. I thought Lux and Nitty was a great battle. We put the recap out. It's like almost 50,000 views. So I don't get mad when I see uh, battle rap being talked about on a high level. You know what I'm saying? Battle rap helped us get a television show. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to ARP for the interview. That's out. And a lot of other things we're doing. So shout out to battle rap. And shout out to URL. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though they didn't want me to get paid and all that other shit, you know? <laughs> I did, <laughs> I did anyway, you know what I'm saying? It happens, you know what I'm saying? And, and life goes on. Yeah. Oh, you're playing on a B for All right, let me hear him then. Like, you played on a B for no reason. You don't got no bars. All right, man, I got you, man. What I said, uh, I said, let's do it like this. I said, check, uh, yo, uh, man made the slaughter. I'm hood, I still mix my pancakes with water. Okay. My fan played the corner with Gramps, eights, and quarters. Okay. People lied on my name, but they can't change the aura. So. Uh, so who would make concern? I could bring him to you now based off the loop that I could earn. Been out the loop, but I return. Who could stop the purge? Got killers on head now. My people move without a word. Yeah. Check. My favorite blick is a 44. My dog blue trout. A judge hit him with a 44. It's 20 for the split. I could get him for the 44. And when this thing done, I hit a player with 44. Yeah. Divine measures. I grew up around side betters that one but couldn't stay in the game. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I blog, but I'm still on the block sturdy. And keep a lookout for the window 
cause the cops dirty. Mm. Battle who, I beat them the round and drop 30. Man, I done bust more elbow moves than Brock Purdy. Ooh. Hustle for real, my people gunning to kill. Since I was young, looking for something to steal. Right. Not a six cool black, and the other one teal. I'm like Hov in 9-9, cause I'm dumping the mill. And I need more paper, three, four acres. My favorite five words is we don't need no favors. Favors, okay, that's fine. Yes. No, I get, I get, I get it in every now and then. Every now and then. All every right. Now. Guess you.